Dear students, under the topic Lagrange's partial differential equations, here we have problem 16 under method of multipliers. The question is 3z minus 4y multiplied with p plus 4x minus 2z multiplied with q is equal to 2y minus 3x. As the first step, we have to compare the given equation with the standard form of the Lagrange's equation and obtain the value of capital P, capital Q and capital R. So the standard form of the Lagrange's equation is given by capital P multiplied with small p plus capital Q multiplied with small q is equal to capital R. So on comparing these two equations, we get the value of capital P to be equal to 3z minus 4y. The value of capital Q is 4x minus 2z and the value of capital R is 2y minus 3x. So let us take and write that now. So after writing the values of P, Q and R, we have to write the auxiliary equation of the Lagrange's uh, partial differential equation. The auxiliary equation of this Lagrange's partial differential equation is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. Now we have to take the values of P, Q and R and substitute in this auxiliary equation. So after substitution, what we get is, so we obtain the auxiliary equation to be this. Now let us mark the first ratio as 1, the second ratio as 2 and the third ratio as 3. And by comparing 1 and 2, we observe that there are three variables z, y, x. So we cannot use the method of grouping in that case. In the in similarly 2 and 3 and 1 and 3 when compared, even in that case we cannot use the method of grouping as we have three variables. And we have only dx and dy in the numerator while comparing 1 and 2. Similarly dy and dz in 2 and 3 and dx and dz in uh, while comparing 1 and 3. So we won't be able to use the method of grouping and hence we have to use the method of multipliers. So for the method of multipliers we have to form a new set of ratio I mean a new ratio for that which is the fourth ratio and how do we do that? We take the multipliers L, M and N where L will be multiplied with DX. So L, DX and then plus m will be multiplied with dy so m dy plus n will be multiplied with dz so n dz divided by similarly we have to multiply l with the denominator of the first ratio m with the denominator of the second ratio and n with the denominator of the third ratio and e add each of them in the denominator so we will be getting l multiplied with 3z minus 4y and then plus m multiplied with we have 4x minus 2z plus n multiplied with 2y minus 3x. So this is the fourth ratio that we have obtained. Now in order to find the solution u and v, we have to find the values of l, m and n in such a manner that the denominator of the fourth ratio should become 0. So, if you go through the previous problems, you will, un you will understand this concept more better. So, let us do that now. So, first we shall find the first set of multipliers that makes the denominator 0, for which we have to first take and write the denominator of the fourth ratio. So, what is the denominator of the fourth ratio? So now we have to choose the values for L, M and N in such a manner that we have to make this denominator as 0. Now if you see, we can see that we have 3Z minus 4Y, 4X minus 2Z, 2Y minus 3X. So X, Y and Z are multiples of these terms. So in that case what we can do, we, we get an idea that we can choose the multipliers as uh, X, Y and Z for L, M and N. So let us try that. So, by putting L is equal to X, M is equal to Y and uh, N is equal to Z, in this denominator, we shall check whether it becomes 0 or not. So, at the place of L, if you put X, what we get? X multiplied with 3Z minus 4Y plus at the place of M, we have to put Y. So, Y multiplied with 4X minus 2Z plus 
at the place of n we have to put z so z multiplied with 2y minus 3x so that is equal to so multiplying this x with the first term we get 3x z minus multiplying x with the second term we get uh, 4xy plus multiplying this y we get 4xy minus multiplying this y with this term we get 2y z and then multiplying z with this term we get 2zy and multiplying z with this term we get minus 3xz and we observe that 3xz and minus 3xz gets cancelled minus 4xy and plus 4xy gets cancelled minus 2yz and minus 2zy gets cancelled and this becomes 0. So let us mark this as 1 as we will be making use of it while solving the problem problem further. So therefore we have identified the first set of multipliers to be x, y and z. So therefore the first set of multipliers L, M and N is what? x, y and z. So let us just make a note of it. Now we shall find the second set of multipliers which makes the denominator 0 which are different from x, y and z. So let to find that we have to again take and write the denominator. So now we shall find the second set of multipliers. Now if you see here we have 3x and 4y here and here 4x 2z and here 2y minus 3x. So if you see we have the multi that is uh, the variables are multiplied with numbers which are 2, 3 and 4. So if you see it will be either uh, 3 and 4 or 4 and 2 or 2 and 3. So we can think that we can choose the multipliers in such a manner that we can put the value of L to be equal to 2, M to be equal to 3 and N to be equal to 4. And this is purely by practice only you will be getting so, it will be a trial and error method. So, I am trying 2, 3 and 4. So, because I chose these multipliers, because I could see the variables were multiples of 2, 3 or 4. Either 2 or 3 or 4. So, I uh, we can just uh, identify the multipliers by looking into the terms that we have inside the brackets. So, this is a kind of observation only. So, now let us proceed further. So, while substituting 2 at the place of L, what do we get? We get this to be 2 multiplied with 3x minus 4y plus at the place of M, I am going to substitute 3. So, 3 multiplied with 4x minus 2 is it plus at the place of N, I am going to substitute 4. So, it will be 4 multiplied with 2y minus 3x. So, let us simplify this further by multiplying the constants inside the bracket. So, this will become 3, 2 times is 6, so 6x minus 2, 4 times is 8, so 8y plus 3, 4 times is 12, so 12x minus 3, 2 times is 6, so 6 is z. And then plus 4 multiplied with 2 is 8, so 8y minus 4 multiplied with 3 is 12x. Now, we shall check, we shall check whether are we able to cancel the terms. Here, I am having... If you see, 6, actually this is z, okay. So, kindly make that change, this is z. So, here I am having 6z. Uh, so, here also I am having 6z. So, I have minus and plus, so I can cancel it. And here I am having minus 8y and here plus 8y, so I can cancel it. Here 12x and minus 12x, so this can be cancelled. And therefore, I get this to be 0, which I can mark as 2. So, therefore, the second set of multipliers that we can choose is 2, 3 and 4. So, therefore, L, M, N can be chosen as 2, 3 and 4. So, these are the second set of multipliers that make the denominator 0. Now, we shall make use of these multipliers and find the solution U and the solution V. Now we shall find the first solution u for which we will be making use of the first set of multipliers that we have obtained. So first we shall write the fourth ratio. So what is the fourth ratio? So this is the fourth ratio that we had. So in this let us choose the multipliers L, M, N as X, Y and Z. 
so what we will get is so the ratio 4 if we substitute l to be equal to x we have x dx plus y dy plus z d z divided by and if you substitute l m and n as x y z in the denominator we know that it is equal to 0 already we have found this that is from 1 if you check out this you will understand so already we know that it is 0 so we will write 0 here now by the rule of Lagrange's method I mean multi method of multipliers if the denominator is 0 when you make the denominator as 0 you, you can equate the numerator as 0 so we get x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0 so integrating on both the sides what we will get so when you integrate on both the sides you will be getting x squared by 2 plus the integration for y dy is y squared by 2 plus z squared by 2 to be equal to a constant c1 so by taking the lcm on the left and um, taking the multiple to the right we get x square plus y square plus z square to be equal to 2c1 but uh, it is also again a constant which in general can be written as c1 and therefore the first solution u will be given by the constant c1 which is x square plus y square plus z square so this is the first solution u now we have to find the second solution v for which we will be making use of the second set of multipliers that we have obtained so in order to find the solution v first i have taken and written the fourth ratio now let us uh, choose the multipliers so the second set of multipliers that we may we, we chose is 2 3 and 4 so that we know that the denominator can be 0 so what will happen to the ratio 4 when we substitute l as 2 m as 3 and n as 4 we get this to be so 2 dx plus 3 dy plus 4 dz and the denominator it became 0 we already saw this so from 2 so denominator is 0 so if the denominator is 0 we can equate the numerator to be 0 so we get 2 dx plus 3 dy plus 4 dz to be equal to 0 so when we put this as 0 and integrate on both the sides so when we integrate so 2 is a constant which we can have it outside the integration and so 2 multiplied with what is the integration of dx it is x plus 3 multiplied with the integration of dy is y plus 4 multiplied with the integration of d is z is z is equal to 0. So I mean uh, c2 so this is the second solution therefore the solution v will be equal to 2x plus 3y plus 4z. So this is the second solution v. So therefore the general solution now we have to write which is what phi of u comma v is equal to 0. So when we substitute that we get phi of what is u. u we have obtained to be x square plus y square plus z square. So we shall substitute that. So x square plus y square plus z square comma what is v. v is equal to 2x plus 3y plus 4z so this is equal to 0 so therefore this is the solution general solution of the given Lagrange's partial differential equation hope you have understood this problem thank you